In this video, we're going to explore the how to use the create element in JavaScript. And the reason why the create element is so powerful is because with that, you can create a lot of items once you start to understand how to use this. So you might wonder, where do we use the create element function for JavaScript or command? Well, basically, imagine you have a to-do list where you have an item, you press on the item, and then you confirm or save. What happens, then you see a new div or a list item appear below that was not there before. So this is creating a dynamic effect based on input, which is a way to do it. And it's quite nice because this is what we call the create element. With the create element, you create a certain element, a div, a list item, etc., etc. Then you want to put it on the website. Very common one as well is, for example, you have two divs here and one you put into something, the other you will see the output, whatever you put in here. For example, like uh, a POS system, which I'm currently making, on one side you have this and then the other side you see the on one side you have the the burger for example you press on the burger and you see the other side appear the burger with price etc etc all right enough about the explanation let's start and work on that to do this i want to make here two specific divs i'm going to just add them here and let's say this is uh items and this one would be order very straightforward and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do not too much on the design here and what I will say here, uh, class items, here we will have basically with, no, with, well, uh, no, not with, uh, that would be 300 pixels. And height will be also 300 pixels. And then we say display inline block. All right, so we want to have them beside each other. So we have this one, and then the same we're going to do here, we say order. Oh, sorry, this should be order. All right, so we have these divs here. Let's give this a background color. So the background color here, this will be a gray or a very light gray. Let's say here that will be triple D. All right, that would be fair enough. And then the other one, we'll give this another color. I will say this one would be uh, maybe slightly reddish. Save that to see what happens here. All right, we have two colors, slightly pink, pink, red, and then gray. All right, that's fair enough. So what we want to do now is that we want to have here an item, and when you click on the item, it should it should start to appear here. So with that, we're going to use create element, and we will use something else because when you create an element, you didn't insert it anywhere. So remember that you need to insert the element. So create and then insert it where exactly? Because JavaScript doesn't understand when you create one where are you going to put it in. All right. So we say here the following. I'm going to put in here some items. Let's say here a uh, paragraph. And here, and if you've seen my other videos, we're going to use some on click functions in here as well. So we say here burger, and then we have another one. We'll say here uh, Coke. And what we want eventually here is in the ordered list, or in the unordered list, sorry, a list item where we will see burger or else that we will see is Coke or something, or whatever we click. And we add on. So to do this, we must give this an ID. This would be the uh, ID, uh, let's say, order list. All right. So we have this now, and now we're ready for our JavaScript. Basically, here we will create an onClick, and this onClick would trigger basically the function. But first, let's build the function here in script or in JavaScript. So we say here script for JavaScript, and then we put it in here, and then here we will say the following. Here we say function. And for example, here will be add product. And then what we will do is this. All right, so here we have this. And then what we're going to say is the following. You say here create, well, uh, sorry, not yet. We'll say here, first we give it a constant, is a value. So let's say this would be, we want to add in this item here every time a new item. Well, that's what we're going to do. We say here, uh, constant, Order list equals document. So, oh, because what we need to do is we need to pinpoint it for document get element by ID. All right, make sure you pay attention to the capitalized letters the E, and the B, and the I. All right, so what is the ID we want to have? It's this one. Make sure this is quotation. No need to put hashtag here. 
like in query selector. And the reason why is because this already indicates we're looking for an ID name or an element with the ID name or the list. All right. So we have this one here. Fair enough. Next item what we're going to do is basically we want to, when the moment we click on this, we should uh, create a new element. So we say here, and this created element will get a name. So we say here constant, and I will say div p for product. And then we say here, document create dot create element with capital E. And then in here, single quotations because it's an item. And then you make sure this is always caps locks. It should be div list item, or in our case, it's li. Always caps locks. All right, so this would mean that we now created this. Although when we created this, we still need to insert it in here. So if we would save this and refresh, we should have it inserted here. I don't know why this just jumped, but that doesn't matter for now. Don't pay attention on that. It's not important. So what we want to do now is basically the following. Where are we going to insert it? Well, what we need to do then to insert it, we need to do append child. Yes. So, but the append child will depend on, or will depend on the parent. So what's the parent when we add the child to the parent? So to be clear, what is a child element? What is a parent element? For example, here, this is the parent element of these two here, because these are two children of this. Right? Makes sense because this is nested within this unordered list. But this is the parent, the father or mother of these here so basically this is the parent this would be the child and this would be the grandchild basically if we would look at it based on the line age however to make it simple parent and child here this is the child of this parent here and this is the child of this parent here however in our case we have the parent selected we say this parent here ordered list so we say order list dot and then uh add or sorry append that's the one append means attach like an appendix it's attach attach it attach the child with capital letter c and then we get the value here copy this value and bam there you are so once we do this we have now appended the list item here of course we're not done yet we should have design of certain things we could do it with classes etc i will show you as well and of course text but what we want to do now while the function is basically complete while it doesn't add any value we still need to make sure that the trigger works the trigger is basically on click so when we click on this we should show here a few items or we should show this so we say here on click equal double quotation and then what is the product what is the function name this is the function name let me put this in here. Once you have this, you copy all of this and then you add this up here as well. So both of these will add it here. Of course, you will say, what's the value exactly you're going to add? Well, let me show you. We're going to add the value in here. We're going to put in the add value and this will be burger. And we'll copy this one, add the value here, Coke. And this here, we'll call it product or product name, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Make sure that this is unique and there's nothing else that overlaps it. All right. So let's save this and go and refresh now. And now we'll open up the developer tab and pay attention here on our list item. We should expect now when we click on this, there should be an added item here. As you can see, it starts to add, but there's absolutely nothing here. All right. So, and I don't know why this jumps up and down, but for now, that's not important. Don't pay attention on that. That's not important for now. All right. So what we're going to do now is the following, and this is the next item here is to add the exact value here that we want. The value is the product we already indicate here. So how do we add the value? Well, here's another one. We will say here uh, the div p, and I'm surprised why we call it div p, which we call list item, or li, will make far more sense, because it's an li. Make sure you give this a proper name so it's easy to follow for yourself. But let's say here, this li, we want to give it the text and we say inner h of a inner text don't use html unless you absolutely absolutely need it because it's sensitive it's very prone to hacking option there, there's some tricks you can use makes it more sensitive sensitive for security matters so avoid using it unless you absolutely need to 
All right, and then here we say inner HTML, and what is the oh, sorry, inner text, and what is the text value we want? Product. Put it in here, save this, and let's see if this now shows up. We click on that, there you are, you can see now we have burger, and now we click it again, there you are, and now we have Coke, etc. etc. So maybe you say, well, okay, this is nice, but what about if I want to have a design here? I want a class. All right, let's make a class here. Let's do something a bit more fun. So we say here li. Oh, sorry. No, we don't do li. We will say we make it a class. Yes, and this class will be blue. And then here we will say uh, color blue. All right. So basically, what we want to do here now is we want to add up the class list here. So how do we do this? There are two ways, or there are two commands here, and make sure you the append list here should be at the end. Yes, the reason why is because you need to run through all of this code and then you add up this. If you do will add up, for example, the text in the last moment, it will ignore it because it will add up first and then it will add the text. Then you're too late. All right, so the sequence is important. All right, we're going to give it a class name here. So let's say here we say li, and then we have here. Cla uh, class list equal and let's double check if this is correct or sometimes it's a uh, parenthesis so I'll, one or the other class list um i think it is i realize that yeah class list is fine and then we say add and then what we're going to do is add we're going to add up the blue color here which is our class blue all right, so let's see if this works. If we refresh now and we add up, you can see it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work probably is that I have the wrong command. Let's double check here. You can see nothing happens. Fair enough. Means that I need to do this. This is the only one that I tend to mistake in quite often. It's in parentheses or not. So if we add up this, we will add up this class here. Refresh. And now if you add, there you can see, now we have the blue. So another way to do it is class name. But class name... This is why I'm getting confused, of course. Class name is this. In this case, you could use class name more often because you could add multiple classes. Well, in add class, you only can add one class or class list dot add. You only can add one class at a time. So here you could say blue and then maybe uh, black. And then let's make here black background. Then you will see here black. Then say here background black. Once we save this, refresh. Then we have this, and there you are. Beautiful. Well, of course, this looks quite hideous, but you are now able to understand how someone would be able to make a to-do list. When you add a value, and then you have a button, for example, it could be a button, it could be a paragraph, it could be a div, and then it shows it up here. And this is how you basically create, or you how to use the create element in your JavaScript and adding up items. Of course, make sure you combine them with your class name, inner text, uh, here have the value and of course append child without the append child you will not be able to insert it in the id that we have selected thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel